am Yan Liwang. I am Associate Program Officer at the UNFCCC Secretariat. I support developing countries in MRV and transparency. UNFCCC GRI CAST is a professional three-week intense training program on greenhouse gas inventories designed for national experts from developing countries. Since 2017, the program has been offered annually by the UNFCCC Secretariat and the Greenhouse Gas Inventory and Research Center of Korea. Over the past six years, the program has successfully trained a total of 190 participants from 85 countries. Yes, the in-person training program will take place in Korea from 10th to 28th July 2023. The application will open on April 10th and close on April 30th. This year's training program will cover various topics related to greenhouse gas inventories, including transparency arrangements under the Convention and the Paris Agreement, basics for national inventory reports, emission projection, and greenhouse gas emission MRV methodology, and hands-on exercise for the energy, IPPU, NUNUCF, or FLU, and waste sectors. Participants can expect to learn from both Korean and international experts who will share their valuable insights on those topics. For the 2023 training program, a maximum of 30 trainees will be selected. To ensure nationality diversity, in principle, we aim to select one trainee per country. Eligible applicants for the training program include government officials, researchers, consultants, as well as entry to middle-level professionals with work experience in developing greenhouse gas inventories from UNFCCC non-LX1 parties. Please note that an intermediate or advanced level of English proficiency is required, as all the courses will be conducted in English. Associate Researcher at GIR and I coordinate the UNFCCC GIR CAS program together with colleagues at the UNFCCC Secretariat. To start, you visit the program website and then you will see the category that says Apply Now. Click it and there you'll see eligibility and the application form below. On the first page of the form, you will see what documents must be submitted, including your CV, employment certificate, and a letter of permission. When you apply, please ensure that you submit your application form and all required documents. Late submission will not be considered, so please check the deadline carefully. you submit your application form and documents, we will review them and inform applicants by email of whether they are invited to the English interview or not. If you are invited, please attend the interview according to the schedule arranged in advance. Final screening process begins after interviews and we will make a final announcement of selected trainees. For English interview, we will be using either Teams or Zoom to meet with candidates. Each candidate will have 10 to 15 minutes to ask questions about the program and answer questions from us about their work experiences, national greenhouse gas inventories in their home countries, 
and the reason for applying to the training and also some more about their eligibility. We ask trainees to make country presentations on each sector and submit daily journals to share their knowledge, good practices of their home countries, and also how they spend the day during the program. You can read daily journals of past trainees at GIR website. Our trainees have done a wonderful job with their journals, so you will see how lectures were delivered, what they learned and experienced throughout a three-week journey. Also, a number of trainees representing each continent will be invited to make presentations as a panelist at International Greenhouse Gas Conference, which will be held in July in Korea. Last year, six trainees joined the conference and made great presentations on the stage. You can find conference photos at the program website and the video at our YouTube channel. Training fees are supported by organizers, GIR and UNFCCC. It includes return flights, accommodation, meals, and transportation. It is not required for international visitors to submit a vaccination certificate or a negative result of PCR test to enter Korea. But for everyone's safety, we could ask trainees to follow our guidelines regarding preventive measures against the pandemic. If that's the case, we will inform trainees in advance to let them have enough time to prepare whatever it is necessary so that the training is conducted in the safest way. Hello, I am Missy Missy Philippe. I'm a research engineer number one of climate follow-up at the Ministry of Environment, Protection of Nature and Sustainable Development of the Republic of Cameroon. I'm also a member of UNFCCC Roster of Experts and a former fellow of the UNFCCC JCAST program. The country presentations of uh, MRV systems, sectoral emissions, and uh, the effort of uh, countries to enhance the transparency is the best thing about this program. As you will learn experiences from colleagues of other countries and uh, wish feedback of trainers. You will also have the opportunity to share your own experience in the form of presentations, comments, and questions. On the program website, you have the eligibility profile. Make sure you have your CV, all your experiences and certifications in the field of GHG inventories. Be aware that the uh, deadline for submission is in Korean time. This means GH, uh, GMT plus 9. For the online uh, English interview, be sure to prepare your answers in terms of national activities, uh, experience in GHG estimations, uh, reporting, and review. Examiners know that uh, English is not the first language of many candidates. So, do not worry about your accent, just express yourself in such a way that you can communicate easily in English in a multicultural uh, environment. You'll be trained by great Koreans and non-Korean um, 
GHG Inventory experts, many of whom are lead reviewers in technical review of GHG Inventories under the UNFCCC. Thus, be sure that you will learn a lot. In addition, in a multicultural environment with exchange of experiences, regular exercises, daily journals, makes the three weeks very exciting. So, good luck. environmental scientist from MYCL Indonesia. I was one of the trainee in 2022 UNFCCC JIR CAS program. The best thing about this training program was how comprehensive all of the material about GHG inventory being taught. In general, we learn about each IPCC sectors with specialized lectures. But other than that, we also learn and discuss with other trainees from other developing countries on how the country strategize to improve their own greenhouse gas inventory and how to prevent and mitigate the climate change. For application and interview, my tips are to research on what your country has done in collecting GHG inventory. Then connect this knowledge with your own expertise or job. Some of you may not working on national or government institution, but please don't be discouraged. I still working on private sectors, but as long as we have passion to prevent climate change, our insight may be beneficial. So yeah, please be confident. This program personally was a very wholesome experience for me. I met many friends from other countries and we could learn together and even explore solo together. All in all, I wish you have a very good luck for all the future trainees who wants to apply this program. Thank you and goodbye. Good morning in Maloy Lele. My name is Alelia Fine. I work for the Department of Climate Change under the Ministry of MEDEC as the Greenhouse Gas Officer and currently working on preparing our fourth National Greenhouse Gas Inventory Report in Tonga. Last year in AUKUS, I have attended the 12 sessions of the UNFCCC GIR CAS Programming on Greenhouse Gas in Seoul, South Korea. Before I applied to this training program, I had the intention to enhance my knowledge in the field of greenhouse gas inventory. This program allows me to be a better officer in this field. I was able to better plan, collect, analyze, estimate, and report greenhouse gas inventory for my country. This training allows me to meet different technical experts from this field and enhance my knowledge, their lesson learned and best practice that they use in their country. Also, this training, the best thing about it is you get to learn different cultures from your classmates and also Korea culture, which I'm really happy with. Through this program, I was so confident to do my job. I was so excited to begin this Greenhouse Gas Inventory Report. When you apply, make sure to come up with a plan. What are you going to do after the training program? What is your intention to do with the information you got from this training program? And what is your contribution to your country? Always be prepared to class, never be late. Being late is shows of unappreciation and always read your notes before you go to class so you can ask more questions. This is a very nice training. I can assure you this training will help you a lot if this is your field of work. And I wish you all the good luck to all trainees.
Hello everyone, my name is Christian Grisales from Colombia and I participated in the 2022 UNFCC GIR CAS program. I have been working in climate change conformity assessment for almost 15 years and I'm working in CAF Development Bank of Latin America in the assessment of the mitigation potential of any activity funded by the multilateral bank. What was the best thing about the training program? To be honest, everything. First interaction with the colleagues of different parts of the world, working in greenhouse gas inventories, working in conformity assessment, development and implementation of greenhouse gas emission reduction, interaction with the South Korean culture, to have the opportunity to visit different historical places in, in the region, and also the learning IPCC guidelines, you know, not, not just reading them, but also uh, from the experience of other participants in general was a very interesting and meaningful experience right there. Well, first, be prompt in time. Don't leave the application to the end. Always respect times, what they are asking for. Be effective in the responses. Explain your educational and professional background, how you are working in greenhouse gas assessment, quantification, and so on. How you'll apply the, the knowledge, you know, in your country. How that will improve the, the institutional arrangements for greenhouse gas quantification quantification, how that experience will be worthy for your country. In the interview, be honest, stay calm, explain why you want to participate in this tra training, highlighting, you know, the importance of your participation in this training and the competitive advantage that you will have uh, compared with other candidates at the time of apply. Well, I would suggest to have a balance between the lectures and your free time. You'll always uh, have homeworks, so you have to be very effective in time management. But at the same time, you'll have the opportunity to interact with different colleagues of different parts of the world, enjoy of the technology and culture of the infrastructure in South Korea. But don't forget that you are there you know, to improve your skills in greenhouse gas quantification. So try to deliver your homeworks always in time. Enjoy the experience. So that would be my recommendation to future trainees.